Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Hartzler and I want to show you about how I organize my spreadsheets for when I'm trying to interpret student data. So first thing I'll do is I'll go to this little white box, kind of gray box, in the top left corner. That highlights my whole spreadsheet. I'll click format and I want to do alternating colors and I'll pick uh, this one for today. And it should do my entire spreadsheet like that and then hit done. Next thing I'll do is I'll make sure that my top line looks kind of neat and tidy. So first thing I see is that my quarterly one score, it kind of spills over into cell under B, so B1 there. So what I'll do is I'll click in that cell, and I'll actually do it for all of row one. So I'll click on row one, and then I wrap that text. When I do that, it kind of trims this up nice and neat, and I'll even shrink it down a little bit so it fits in there a little better. Now raw scores are nice, but every kid is going to pull out their calculator and try and figure out what their percentage is first. Now I have the spreadsheet do the percentages for me. So I have equals, because I'm doing a formula the cell to my left, which is A2, and then I'm dividing by the number of points available on the test. And I'm able to copy this formula down. I don't have to type that in each time. I can go to the corner. When I get the little crosshairs, notice my cursor changed from a cursor to a little crosshairs, a little uh, T, a little plus. I can drag that down. I can also highlight the cells I want to have it copied into. Hold Control and press the letter D. Ooh. For some reason, that keeps coming up with my little edit my bookmark bar. You should be able to use that, and I don't know what's wrong with my shortcut keys, but that should copy your formula down. Control D. And percentages are good, and I've actually already formatted this a little bit, but it will sometimes show you a bunch of random, you know, some things will be zoomed in, some things will uh, not have as many zeros, some things will, but some things will show kind of weird like this. The .833 is repeating, so that'll keep going out forever and ever. I like all of these to be nice and neat. So I'm gonna click on the column B, and I'm going to change my decimals until I round to the thousandth place. So now that that's rounded, I go to the next column, and this is where I have it type in the letter grade. So I actually have it manually put in all of the grades for me, which is kind of nice, so that I don't screw this up actually need to have one more cell to the left. <clears throat> uh, that is just because I'm copying a lot of this from another spreadsheet. And in this one, I typically have their names. So in this cell, I will have it calculate the letter grade. I do that with what is a pretty complicated formula, but this is the whole thing. So it has it, it's an if statement. So if the cell to the left is greater than 0.925, spit out A, 0.895, A minus, and so on until if the score is less than 0.595, it spit out F. I do that mostly just to make sure that I'm not making any errors. Sometimes teachers make mistakes and I'll look at an eight and maybe I see a six. No reason why, just it happens sometimes. I do that so that the spreadsheet does it, I don't make the mistake. I'll also shrink this one down a little bit and shrink this one down a little bit. I will center this row, not that top one. So I held control and I clicked on that top one. I didn't want to sort that one or push that one to the left, but I'll center the rest of it. Over here, I have a similar statement. So I want to know what my, how many A's, how many B's, how many C's I got on all of this test. If I just graph the percentages, it's going to give me a bunch of data, sure, but it's not very good. It's not helpful. So I'll just insert a chart really quick and you'll be able to see what I mean. Look at that. That's a, a line. If I do a chart, how helpful is this if I'm trying to show my administration maybe what everything looks like or um, you know how my students did, if they did well or did poorly. This doesn't help anybody. And what I'll do instead is I have totals with each letter grade, even including pluses and minuses. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But I'll highlight this set of data. Again, those are counting if the set of data is an A in this case, and the next case, I'm counting if it's an A minus, next one B plus, and so on. But I'll highlight all of this, and then I go to insert, and then I'll insert a chart. Now this chart is more helpful. This one I can actually take to the bank. I can show my administration, I can show a parent, oh, your student got an F. Well, keep in mind, there were plenty of students that did really well, so I don't think that was me as a teacher Maybe that was your student that didn't study, you didn't sleep well the night before. Having a good spreadsheet that shows how good or bad your students did can really help you or really hurt you. But most of the time, it's going to help you. It gives you information. It shows you how you can be a better teacher. If a lot of your students are sitting down here towards the Ds and Fs, well, then you might need to make some changes. Fortunately here, there's a lot of Bs. No B minuses, oddly enough. Uh, Cs aren't bad, and the bummer is the Ds. So I might want to go through, see who got Fs. Was it a high F or a low F? What was going on there? Because if they're right on the line, then maybe that's something where 
maybe I do just enough of a curve to bump a couple more people up. Um, Fs are sometimes harsh and some teachers argue you can't come back from. But here's a nice spreadsheet. Uh, I can get rid of the editor off to the right and I can click and move my chart so it's kind of out of the way. If I double click on it, the chart editor comes back up. And if I move this, there's a little menu button in the top right of it. And I can edit the chart. I can save it as an image. I can move it to its own sheet. If I do that, now chart one comes up at the bottom. And this is its own thing. I don't have to worry about it covering up any of my data. I can print off just the sheet. It's kind of helpful that way. So if I go back to sheet one, that's how for the most part I organize all of my information. I would edit this so instead of saying sheet one, it would say maybe period one. And then here I would label this one chart underscore. I would do P1 just to kind of abbreviate that a little bit. Because their quarterly one scores are averaged with their quarterly two scores to make their midterm grades at our school, I would actually shove a lot of this further to the right and I would leave a quarterly two raw score here, their percentage, then I would do their average, then I would have it spit out their letter grade. And the good thing is, maybe I made a mistake adding up, uh, let's do this first person's grade. Maybe instead of 18, it was actually supposed to be a 28. Maybe I just dropped one off, who knows. I changed that and noticed over here it changed because that went from a B up to an A. I can go over to my chart and it has also changed the A column should have jumped up. So that's kind of the nice thing here. If everything is linked, I told it what cell to look for instead of um, just adding up how many A's I actually got. Now these will populate with the correct answers. So I, I hope that helps you. I hope that lets you know kind of how I edit my videos. Sorry, not how I edit, edit my videos, how I edit my spreadsheets. Uh, hopefully that helps you there and lets you know a little bit more about how I organize it and can help you organize it yours in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Uh, this letter grade stuff, that's a long equation. I talk about that pretty in depth in a different video and I'll put that in the description. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to see more of what goes on in my classroom or just learn a little bit more about me. I also have a website, mrclayhartzler.weebly.com. Check me out if you're interested in what I'm doing or if you want to see more of this, please leave a comment, let me know and uh, hopefully I can get one of those videos out. Thanks for watching everybody.